Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be an early access look at Fox Hollows on Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to Fox Hollow. So um, a couple things before we get right into this. This is a uh, early access map tour. Um, I'm very excited to take a look at it. This is by the Shanty Boys Map Creations. They do a fantastic job. They do do primarily forestry maps. Uh, however, you also may know them from doing, um, oh gosh, Upper Lake Farm. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the one that I had recently. That one's a primarily farming map. They've also done tons of other ones as well. Um, if you did want to browse or download any of their maps down below in the description, um, there is a link to their website and they have different maps on there and I definitely would encourage you to go check those out. So um, this is early access, so we don't know when this is going to come out yet, um, but I would just stay tuned to that link down below to their website and occasionally check in on there. But let's go ahead and talk about this map a little bit here. This will not be going to console, this is going to be for PC only. Um, they're, for several reasons, but it's just just understand you're not going to find this on consoles. This is not going to the mod hub. You have to download it from the website down below when it does come out. Um, so a couple things to note: there are three fields on this map. Um, so that's mostly forestry, but there are three fields on here, and obviously there's plenty of space on here for you to cut in and do some different stuff, kind of like I did on Willow Minor Forest. I mean, you could easily you could easily make a farm on here if you wanted. So um, so yeah, there. <laughs> There's a spinnery, sawmill, some bale cell points, animal dealer. Uh, there are big trees on this map, so you have to be cut with FDR machines or mono machines uh, that are like that. So you can't use your standard in-game equipment usually to cut most of the big trees, or at least all the big trees, I guess I should say. There are trees on here you should be able to cut without that. Um, there's custom road, ground textures, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And this is kind of based on an area. Um, this is based on a real place uh, near where Mr. T-Bone lives, who's one of the shanty boys. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it here. Uh, we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And I am in new farmer mode here. There are contracts on the fields, which is awesome. Uh, if we go across here, we start off with $100,000 in new farmer mode. And then if we move over to here, we have some pieces of starting equipment, which we'll look at in the store in a second. And then you have four sell points. So there you go. Now we start down here at the shop. The animal dealer's just up behind us. We'll drive up there. Um, we have the sawmill, the barn, and a fuel point over here. It's spinnery out there. Um, some area out there. Field one's there, two's there, and three's there. So you can get to cut your way to them if you want to use them, which I think is a fantastic feature. Um, but yeah, and then there's uh, the ranch cell point right down there. So I'm pretty excited to drive around. So what we're probably going to do is drive up to animal dealer first and then head down here. We'll head over to here, take a look at these guys. And head up over probably take a look at the spinnery drive up to here and then we'll drive all the way back down uh to the end here and then we will do a flyover to make sure we didn't miss anything so i'm sure we'll have missed something at that point so i'm very excited to take a look at this uh, let's take a look at what our starting equipment is here so we start off with a styre profi cvt um, a Steyr 6300 CVT, a Valtra S374. We also have a Komatsu uh, 931XC and a Komatsu 875. Also have a step a trailer, pickup truck, stump grinder, front loader attacher, a log fork, front weight, or rear weight, depending on how you want to use that. Um, and a field trailer, which I think is fantastic. You start off with that as well. Um, so here at the store, we have, let's actually do this real quick. Give myself just a touch more speed. So right here, repair trigger. Then we have, of course, the ATM to get you to the finance screen. Good detail on here. And again, there might be more stuff added and removed and whatnot. This is just early access. So we're just going to take a look at it as it is right now. If we go into here, we got the store menu there, all makes sense. And here is where all of our starting equipment is at. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in this nice lime green truck here. I love it, the custom texture or the custom uh, paint on there. I know they're base game paints, but it's nice as they have them set something different because most map makers just have them set uh, with your standard stuff. But let's take a look at these textures though on here. I like these, The that kind of almost looks like a, a lava rock going down there. Um, and then we got like a nice cobblestone here, which I really like that. And then I mean, you can look at the trees. Those trees look fantastic. <laughs> it looks awesome. It looks very realistic. And you can see that's a pretty thick tree trunk there. So yeah, you can understand. Also to the FDR equipment, um, the FDR website where you can download that is linked down below as well. So um, just be aware of that. But we'll head up here and we will take a look at the uh, animal dealer. And again, you can see a lot of the land here is pretty flat. And I'll, I'll take a look here in a second too to see what we can uh, actually paint over the different stuff here. So we're up here. Looks like this is going to be where our trigger is at. 
right there animal dealer for you i wonder can we buy where do we start off with land wise actually oh we start off with this chunk of land right up here perfect and then we also okay that's all one chunk with the saw the cell points and everything like that you can buy the fields separately super cheap fields of course you do have to cut to them but super cheap fields lands not too expensive which is pretty typical of a shanty boys map let's go ahead and do a little bit of painting up here to see kind of what we got available to us so so far we got dirt a cement there cement there Ooh, that's something kind of fun i like that one something a little bit different that one's nice that's kind of similar to the floor texture there i like that a nice grass texture i should really like the look of that gravel got ooh, a nice rock texture there sand and i think we're back to the dirt yeah so there's some cool ones in there you can't paint all the stuff that's uh, on the map but you can you paint some pretty cool stuff which is uh definitely awesome i like that they got that in there all right let's head back down this way we'll see what we can find over yonder let's see here yeah the trees look great absolutely fantastic all right we'll drive through the woods here and again we'll get a better view once we're up and above the the tree line and doing that sort of thing and we're, we want to take a left here yeah we want to take a left we'll head out here take a look at the sawmill out this way the trees look great these are these are some of the best trees i've seen in uh fs i feel like uh, these are fantastic trees and again there are some hills and stuff but there are a lot plenty of flat areas so if you wanted to uh, set up an area for you to do some farming and stuff like that you could easily do that uh look at this right here shanty boys lower mill and uh sawmill and farmer cop thank you farmer cop for doing tours on our maps absolutely you guys do great work that is awesome thank you guys and there's the shanty boys up there matt mr team on 39 silver eagle brennan and luke thank you guys for letting me take a look at your maps i love i love hopping on here i don't remember how that relationship started but it's been fantastic <laughs> gotten uh, to be pretty good friends with the team or the uh the shanty boys guys they're they're pretty awesome but anyhow here we go we have our um oh gosh fuel point right here and then we are sitting right on top of the sawmill so there's gonna be your wood chip cell point and then to sell lumber right over this way and i love some of the details on here i've never seen some of these buildings before at least that building right there i haven't seen that before which i think is awesome right here get your lumber cell point Oop, of course i'm gonna crash typical <laughs> but there you go and then over here we have I, what is it the barn cell point i want to say we'll check in here in a second yes the barn cell point right here so the barn is going to take and i mean obviously the sawmill is going to take i uh, will take a look at that real quick sawmill is going to take wood chips for you and then the barn cell point it's going to take silage grass hay and straw for you so there you go that's your barn cell point there Oh, my dogs are barking. Hopefully you guys can't hear that in the background. We'll head up and out this way and continue on our tour. I love the look of this map. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, the Shanty Boys have some good maps out there, guys. You definitely need to browse their website, especially if you're into forestry stuff. You really can't beat the forestry stuff that they put out. So definitely check out some of their maps. They got some, they got some doozies on there. All right, head out this way. We're coming up from our first water feature. I always, they always put a bridge in. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I love the water features. They always put in some good ones on here too. Fantastic. I love that. Nice little bridge there. Oh, I don't get lost in the trees here. And then right here, we're at a fork. Let's go. I say where I want to go. Yeah, we'll go left first, I think. And we will go take a look at the fields. Probably as our flyover. But yeah, we'll head left. And we'll go take a look at the spinnery and then kind of take a look at that top section there back past the spinnery. Should be able to cut through here fairly easily. And here we are. And as you can see here, I mean, if you look out, we'll hop out of the truck here. I and mean, look how flat it is. You could easily, and it feels like it's still a pretty realistic forest too. So you could easily clear some of this out, do some farming, do whatever you wanted to do on here. Uh, that's that's one of my favorite things about FS is just clearing land and starting a farm from nothing, you know, doing some of that kind of stuff, kind of like I did in Willow Mina Forest. But that is, that's just the way to do it, I think. I think it's awesome. Anyhow, here we are at the spinnery. The spinnery is going to take, scroll down through here, uh, wool and cotton right there. Fantastic. All right, we'll hop in. We'll go take a look at the uh, clearing down here. Might even be able to catch a glimpse of the field through here. Uh, probably not. <laughs> 
might be kind of tough to see it, but it does look like the fields are on pretty flat ground. All right, we'll head up around here. And nice, nice little cliff face right there. Always some cool stuff like that on the Shanty Boy stuff. So we'll take a look at all that in more detail as we do our flyover, but that's going to be pretty cool. Take a look at that. It kind of looks like that goes into like... Like there's, yeah, kind of like a little valley in here. That's where I want to put my farm is right there in that. <laughs> That's awesome. i got a little setup right here, a little space for you to start off just digging into that little valley or whatever you want to call it, but that's fantastic. All right, let's head across and take a look at the last half of the map, last third, third maybe, <laughs> before we do our flyover and take a look at everything from up above. And again, big thank you to the Shanty Boys for giving me their map early so I can take a look at it. Very excited to be on here. I always lo I love doing my map tours, and I love getting on new maps and taking a look at some of the features, especially good maps like this. So, oh, oh I'm going to crash. It's okay. No, we actually did. We did okay on that one. I love the thickness of the trees. I love it. Feels like it's overgrown. Needs some serious forestry work on here to get these little forestry roads back up and going again. All right, and here we are at the ranch cell point. <laughs> it's a cool looking building. Uh, so right down here, again, we started here. We went up to the animal dealer, went back down to here, over to here, over to here, and then went up to here, and then back down over to the ranch. So let's take a look here. Uh, oh, I want to take a look at what they buy here, which should be a lot of different stuff. They're going to take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, sugar beets, potatoes, uh, sugar cane, eggs, and milk. Um, are there any cell points really missing on here? Not really. I mean, yeah, all your basic stuff is covered. So yeah, they got it all covered on here. Fantastic. All right, that's actually, we'll just do a flyover from here, I think. We'll do that. Let's go and hop into fly mode here. All right, so we'll go take a look out. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool up here. Oh, gosh, that's awesome. All right, we'll go take a look out here. I mean, oh, look at those trees. Those trees look great. So there's a little area here, another little clearing through here. I love that. Some of the cliff faces and stuff that the Shanty Boys put in, I really like. Fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, look at that. So nice. I mean, if you wanted the real difficult experience, you could be up here trying to not drop logs off the cliff and hauling them down and everything like that. Or you could clear the logs out of here and start a nice farm in there. That's fantastic. Let's go take a look at this field over here, and then I want to take a look at some of these waterways they got but as you can see a lot of the land on here is pretty flat which is really nice uh, for farming obviously so if you wanted to clear out land and do that you easily could nice pretty big field actually so here's field three fantastic Let's take a look over here nice nice waterways through here i like that you could probably, yeah, you could even do a little farm on this little centerpiece here. Sorry, there's so many cool, cool spots to start farm. That's all I can think about when I look at forestry. I was like, where should I put my farm? <laughs> where do I need to start clearing trees first? Oh, gosh, I love it, though. Fantastic. Heading over this way. Nice flat area out here. Plenty of forestry. You can be on here for a while doing forestry. Here's field one right down here below us. Another good-sized field. And I just got to go look at this. I'm excited to see this. This is a great little layout right here. This is fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yep, nice little pond in there as well. That's very cool. I like that quite a bit. Over here, sawmill. Take a look at that real quick. Good detail on that as well. And back over here, this is kind of, uh, this is the animal dealer here, and this is kind of our start spot right here where the store's at. All of our equipment's down there. So, I mean, you could start right in here. I mean, you own the land in here, but all the land on here is pretty cheap. So, you could start uh, kind of doing wherever you want, really. Down here, you got yourself a nice another, fe another field here. Looks like this one's just starting to grow up a little bit. And then, yeah, we looked at this already. But, yeah, there you go. This is it right here, guys. This is a fantastic map. Uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned to their uh, website to see when it's going to come out. So, um, I, I usually try to post in um, my Discord when they have their maps come out, but I sometimes forget or don't. Yeah, anyhow, sometimes <laughs> doesn't happen. But uh, anyhow, stay tuned to their website, and if you're looking for another map for the time being to, to check out for the 
for right now, then you could definitely look at their website. And then, uh, of course, also go check out Upper Lake Farm. That's on the Mod Hub. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Let me know what you guys think of the map. Uh, the map makers will read the comments. They always do. Uh, they're very awesome. So definitely let them know what you think of the maps down, down below. Uh, but anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.